While Democrats were hoping for a blue wave on Election Day, it was Republicans who gained ground. One America's Christina Bob spoke with analyst and GOP activist Preston Bates to get his take on the congressional races. Preston Bates, host of BusinessMatters.show, who has run over 250 political campaigns and is an expert on campaign efforts, recently predicted several wins and losses in the House. He was correct, and I sat down with him to hear again what's coming next. And I predicted that Republicans would get close but not take the House. And despite all the prognostications and punditry from the left and even on Fox News and the fact that Fox News called it early for the Democrats keeping the House, Republicans, I project and, for, and forecast, will get between four votes for, from the majority. So right now in the old House, they had Republicans had 200 members on Election Day 2018. Democrats had 235 seats. I'm projecting Republicans are going to have start this, the next Congress with 214 members and Democrats are going to have uh, 221 members. Democrats and polls claimed that there was a blue wave coming, but it never materialized. Instead, Republicans picked up a handful of seats in the House. How did they get it so wrong, and what caused the Republicans to pick up seats? I think it happened because of socialism. I think it happened because the party, the Democratic Party tried to make their own contract with America, so to speak, in 2018. Remember, we were talking about Russia and the fact that Trump may have been a Russian agent, which was completely bunk and, and it was a conspiracy theory, and it didn't pan out. Nancy Pelosi didn't even want to talk about impeachment in the 2018 midterm. She wanted to make it all about uh, health care and health care, health care, health care. That's what they ran on in 2018. They didn't do anything on health care with the Congress. All they did is do exactly what Nancy Pelosi said don't do. They impeached the president. They talked about Ukraine. Then it became about lockdowns and COVID. And so we just saw a party kind of run away and kind of get derailed. The media is doing its best to paint the election as a win for Democrats, but they really haven't won much of what they projected. Bates argues that Republicans gained ground in New England. It turns out that individuals made choices that affected their pocketbook, their, their faith, um, their day-to-day -day living. They don't want to live in, uh, in a dark winter. They don't, want to, they don't want to wear masks indefinitely. They don't want to follow bunk science. They see what's happening in Sweden. And so they gave the power back to the Republicans. I also forecasted to you that Republicans would take New Hampshire. Now, while President Trump did not win this state, at least it doesn't look like until we do an audit, Republicans did take, for, uh, for the first time in a long time, uh, they took the, the lower house, they took the upper house, and they took what's called the executive council, which approves budgeting and hiring of all cabinets. So there was a, red, a little bit of a, a red wave pickup in, in New England as well. Multiple races hang in the balance, including the Senate race in Georgia. Bates says that Republicans will likely hold on to the Senate. I think the Senate, I think I forecasted with you as well that it would be a D plus one pickup. We're on track to do that. Republicans just clinched the Senate. It's, they have 50 votes right now. There's the two special runoffs in Georgia. And so we're going to see. It's really important that anyone watching this package tells someone they know to turn off Fox News and to watch OAN and to tell people they know in Georgia to vote, vote, vote. Do not trust mail-in voting. Go vote in person on the run Republicans typically outperform Democrats in special elections and runoffs, which is good. But we saw how it determined the, the, the Democratic Party is to cheat, lie, and steal their way into to power. So it's very important that people get out there and support uh, good conservative candidates and vote. But I do think that Republicans will win. I think it'll be 52-48. This has been a wild election and experts are eager to see their predictions play out. It appears Republicans will keep the Senate and make major gains in the House. I'm Christina Bob, One America News, Washington. Want to see more videos like this? Visit OANN.com for immediate access to all the clips you've been waiting to see.